Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I have allergies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you guys don't mind. I have allergies as you can see. My voice is a little weird. Um, but let's, you know, hang out. Let's. If it doesn't bother you, let's hang out and see what the cards have to say. Or better said, what spirit has to say through the cards. All right. Let's see. Universe, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know at this time? I'm going to take the jumping cards upright. This reading might be kind of short. So first card that we got here is the Empress. Absolutely beautiful illustration of the Empress. If you're watching the video, you are going to be able to tell. Um, the Empress is, as you guys probably know, a card that represents feminine energy. Allowing things to come to you. Allowing yourself to be receptive and therefore manifest by just being there. <laughs> by just being open by being connected to yourself, to the beauty of life, to your self-love. It is a card of fertility, it is a card of pregnancy. I'm hearing that someone is finally going to get pregnant, and this one is going to stick. That's what I just heard. Um, take it if it resonates. That may be a message for you or someone that you know. Now we got the death card right here. So there could be someone who has lost several pregnancies. And, you know, if this is you, my condolences, I can't even imagine how difficult that must be. Um, and they're saying here, it's, it's strange. I once heard that, please don't shoot the messenger. I don't know why this is coming through. Maybe someone can benefit from it. I don't know if I agree. You know, I don't know if I believe this. It's just something I heard once. That sometimes souls sort of like practice coming into the physical body, they practice coming into the, the incarnation, so to speak, through coming in and out in that way, like coming in and then, you know, immediately pulling out. And that in one way or another, it is not an error, it's not a mistake, but it's kind of like a, almost like divine process that happens and of course a process of grief and Pandora's box of potential healing for the mother, right? So if this has been the case for you, I'm getting that, you know, I, I can't even imagine, but what I'm getting is don't give up because it will happen. Now of course take this with a huge grain of salt. Take this only if it serves you. If it hurts to even think about trying again, then this message is not for you, okay? I don't want you to get triggered. I don't want you to get frustrated. I don't want you to do something before you're ready, especially just because you saw it on the internet from some random person in Central America. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, but that message is indeed coming through. So someone out there maybe has been waiting for that confirmation. <clears throat> I'm hearing that someone here is experiencing the passing away of a loved one and simultaneous uh, birth of someone special as well. It could be very, uh, you know, it could really trigger a lot of questions, let's just put it that way, about life and death, about, you know, the circle of existing here as a human being. I feel like there's going to be a lot of clarity in the mind about the beliefs that you have. At this time, some of you are getting the custody of your children. 
over your spouse or uh, the person's other parent. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, but definitely Libra here is everywhere. And, you know, it talks about karma and it talks about balancing of justice in a very specific way in this reading. This reading is very different. There's a different energy about it. Some of you are getting back to your roots. Some of you are getting back to spiritual content, like concepts, religious concepts. Some of you may be kind of going back to the religion that you were raised in and evaluating things from a different lens, giving some credit to it where credit is due and analyzing and strategizing other areas that maybe you don't necessarily agree with. I'm getting kind of like an existential religious spiritual contemplation of what we are. Some of you are going to be very much uh, invested on theories. So you may be like, well, is incarnation something I resonate with? Is heaven and hell something I resonate with? Is, you know, is this a simulation? Is this just my soul playing a video game somewhere else? <laughs> like a virtual reality thing. I feel like many of you are going to be almost pulled into this um, hurricane of thoughts and wonders about your spiritual nature, about existence itself. Know that these thoughts and these contemplations are there for them to serve other people. So it seems like you're going to come up with a pretty good uh, theory or you're going to be communicating to your spirit guides or with your spirit guides and getting some really powerful perspectives that you can later share with others. This seems to be a process that is happening to you and for you, but ultimately that needs to be shared with others. You're going to be sharing these conclusions that you get. Not everyone is going to agree, but it will make everyone think. Some of you are getting a divine justice for something that was unfairly taken from you. Some of you are meant to be spiritual leaders, healers, light workers, practitioners. You're supposed to be this hierophant. But maybe in the past, there could have been some kind of situation, maybe with a group of people, uh, a conflict, a misunderstanding, a loss, a difficulty, that somehow, in an unfair way, made you feel like you, you shouldn't be that hierophant or you shouldn't be that connection with the spirit realm, you shouldn't be that channel, that light work or that authority. And... I feel like that balance is getting reestablished here. Spirit is saying, this is your mission. This is what you get to do. This is what you thrive in. This is it, right? And they're going to bring an opportunity to you or something that is going to feel incredibly beautiful and that will make up for the time lost or the grief that you may have experienced due to some kind of loss here. Divine justice is you know, definitely brought back here, and divine retribution. You're going to get back something that someone took from you, that a situation that was unfair made you lose, and all of that is going to be brought back because you deserve it and because it's yours. It may have been a while, but it's still going to come back. 
Pisces, how are you utilizing your resources? How much of yourself are you holding back? Are you open to being of service, to being this hierophant? Or are you looking for a hierophant? Are you looking for a mentor, a teacher, a connector to the divine, so to speak? Honestly, I feel like the High Priestess would probably resonate better with you. Because the Hierophant does have this quality of organized religion, which I know that Pisces often doesn't seem to resonate with. However, there are some things here, some keys, some something important. It's like, for example, I'm a very spiritual person, of course. I take from all perspectives, I'm open to all perspectives, and I consider them and filter them according to what I find as common sense and, you know, what I agree with. However, I was raised as a Catholic, and even though that's not necessarily, you know, the religion that I feel pulled to, I do recognize that as far as liberations and exorcisms and extractions and things that have to do with very, very dark energies, they know what the fuck is up. You know what I mean? <laughs> they know what's up. And therefore, you know, I oftentimes feel very inclined to study about it, to pull from that what I could, what I can. And that's kind of like the vibe I'm getting. It's like some of you may go back to your roots or you may go back to some form of organized religion and take something good out of it. Maybe to share with others, or maybe for yourself. But I do feel like there is a component of sharing it with others as a form of service. That seems very relevant here for you, Pisces. Something about life and death. Rebirth, transformation, change, shape-shifting, different dimensions, different realities. Very fascinating reading, I do have to say. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius. But rest assured, Pisces, that divine balanced balance is being restored here, okay? Rest assured. Something that was taken from you is given back. Someone had no business in taking something from you. I feel like someone may have tried to like steal like steal your destiny or your timeline or like exchange timelines with you or karmic I don't know, some kind of spell, some kind of witchcraft, some kind of random sorcery shit that you know, someone may have done to take something away from you. It's given back to you because it's yours. Period. And it's getting back to you with bonuses and interest, you know, for the discomfort. <laughs> Alright, Pisces. So, yeah, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. I don't take it for granted. And I want you to know that wherever you are in the world, whatever it is that you're going through, you have a space here. I love you, and there is a community of people who you can share with. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye!